Hello everybody, how's it going? Hopefully everyone's doing well. I don't even know why I do this intro. I used to do like longer stuff, but recently we've just been jumping right into it, which is what we're gonna do right here. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. We'll load up our Strimity Stream. Okay, and we did have everything uh, done. We still have uh, him in here, Verge. Removing his unfocused scar will be nice to have him back. He is one of my favorites um, Personality wise too like I feel a lot of these guys are just kind of shallow, but something about verge. I like He's cool. He's cool with me. So yeah, we're going to be doing it's weird. I wish this was more reliable. There we go uh, We're gonna be doing lights out here. I wish I hadn't locked this we used this uh, last episode last night I'm kind of thinking we might have wanted to do it the other way around just to try out the acid grenade. I'm sure special grenades are decent. I, 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 I kind of uh, undervalued it, I think. Uh, but another impact frame is pretty killer. We'll put that on probably one of our submachine gunners since they do least damage. Like we don't want to put it on our shotgunner or our assault rifle probably. Although it could be nice as another high impact ability after she uses like reprogram or something, but she's usually going to be jolting, so um, yeah, if it didn't unturn that would be great, like if we could uh, jolt and then attack or attack and jolt, but it does, so yeah, it'll probably go on terminal when we have her or uh, torque when we have her out. Anyway, let's go ahead and do it. And I think we do have enough for, another, yeah, we do have enough for another field team, but Friday has our... Did we get... Did we get it? Maybe we do uh, spend another... Oh, I think for one thing we were... We wanted to make sure we have enough for when uh, the market comes around. I just don't know if we get it here or if we already got it. Is there any way to tell? There should be some like log, but there's not. But yeah, so anyway, I don't know if we should be buying a field team here. That com I completely forgot. I think we got a field team and uh, got the payday. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, maybe we should be buying another field team here. Hopefully not. We'll see after this mission. We received a tip about a makeshift power core in the hands of our opposition. It's stable, so you're cleared to destroy it. Impact frame. Like I said, really nice. Um, Really nice mod. We get some intel. Let's go. So yeah, we'll send all these guys. They should already be set up. She does actually have both mods on now. Huh. I wonder if we should put the clip on this instead or targeting. Nah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. And do we have anything for our robot friend? Not really. Alright, let's go. Two encounters, skylight door and vent. Too bad we don't have our snake lady. Uh, Android the present. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully it's running a little smoother. I see tonight. the target device. Destroy as able. We had some issues yesterday. Alright. And you'll see in a sec here, uh, we changed, well I didn't change around, but the modder changed around the positioning of the uh, unconscious tracker, so I'm excited to show you that. It was actually, not. I, I, I of course can't take credit for the mod itself, but I was the one who suggested that that would be a good place, you'll see in a sec. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, of course if it turns out there's something that conflicts with it, uh, I take no responsibility for it. Uh, let's see, unit's turn jumps forward to directly following the previous agent's turn, whatever. I mean, I can see it being good, but we don't need it. I mean, I guess we could put, uh, what's-her-face in there? Patchwork, but probably not. All units entering here get plus three mobility for a round. Could be good on someone. Uh, successful shots on enemies will crit. And we've got stun and defense here. So these are pretty good. We'll probably put most people through here, but maybe get crit here. That's also very good. But yeah, I think we get Axiom in for the crit. He does most damage, so let's have him breach the skylight. We could give 
blue blood or something mobility, but I think we're fine. Other thing is we could actually put um, patchwork in next, but I don't think we need to. Let's put blue. Ah. Yeah, especially since let's see. Not valid at this point. Uh, can she use items? Whoops. Can she use items while breaching? No. So that's kind of annoying. We actually have to put her further down then. Uh, we can go something like this. Damn that. Yeah, that puts her in third place. I guess we don't need Axiom in first. What am I thinking? Uh, I do want him to be able to crit though. So yeah, let's go blue blood. We'll put this in first place. So blue blood just to hold the door. He's just basically his job here is opening the door. Uh, then her with scanner. And then terminal. And him bring up the rear? That sounds kind of, that feels kind of bad. Um, okay, I want her in second place. So she can scan, but so she's still near the top of the line. Uh, so she can take out robotic enemies. I don't like him in fourth place, but it is what it is. Um, and we don't need to heal or anything. Alright, we're good to go. It'd be funny if you could panic people from that position. I think it's worth... Crit is only one more damage. We could just stick him here, so he's in first place. Ugh! 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 We could. We put him in first. It lets us panic people as well. Might be worth. Yeah, we don't need the crit. He's got really high chance to crit anyway, so let's do something like... Blue Blood Terminal, something like that. That looks better. Yeah, I like him up front so we can uh, position him and stuff. It does mean we're shooting with him first, but behind me. it means we don't get the stun initially. The knockout, I should say. Okay, we got a mech. Yeah, so you can see it's right down here. Fits in pretty nicely. Alright, we got 100% on the mech. We've got a surprise bruiser back there. Surprise android. Trooper. Decent shot on the trooper. And an Andromedon. I don't know. Mech is right in our face. Maybe we just take the mech out. Um... We don't need to shoot with him though, because mech is a good target for patchwork, and we can get a little bit of damage on here. Um, so yeah, let's ignore the mech for now. Patchwork will move fairly soon. Bruiser doesn't scare me too much. Android, that might be, that's probably our reprogram target. Uh, so we could take a shot at the trooper, or just pour damage onto the Andromedon. Whoops, where'd you go? Trooper. Six. If we rolled high and crit, we could do this guy. And this puts him in knockout range. Nice! We did roll high and crit. That's pretty sweet. Um, she does a lot of damage. We could get damage on the bruiser. But yeah, I'm gonna take, uh, whatchamacallit, blue bloods lower damage pistol shot on the mech and then zap it is my current plan. So yeah, we could just get damage onto the Andromedon or Bruiser. Bruiser is going to be easier to take out, but Andromedon is more threatening. So yeah, let's get some decent damage, medium damage on the... Yeah. yeah decent. I think that puts it in kill range, I hope. I think so. I think it does 6 damage, the shock, we'll see. Uh, and then let's, I guess, get you damage on also the Andromeda. Ew, 1 damage. 1 damage. Uh, anytime it wants to give me the turn, it's dandy. There we go. Oh, it's showing us stuff. Alright, there's evidence over here. going to do a little tricky to get to. Why is it saying mech is no longer shut down? Oh! Is the, the mech looked like it was stunned there for a sec, whatever. Uh, damn, Android goes before Patchwork. So it, I'll get a shot off, but it's not really a big deal. Axiom, let's see. 
think we shot. Can we see? Oh no, because we'd have to select the mech unit. Uh, we could take a shot at the android, possibly take him out, but I do want that as a hack chance. Um, nope, doesn't do it. We've got a 73 on the bruiser. Let's try and do that. Ooh, you actually hit. Good job, buddy. We're gonna psych up. On the edge. And I think take the 73 again. Beautiful. Beautiful. Next time self-destruct, then you're gonna shoot someone. Might even hit them. Raised. Plus one rage. Alright, gimme it. That's that mock weave coming in. Uh, let's go ahead and reprogram the Android. 87 versus 47. Um, let's make sure this zaps first. Cool. Six to seven. Alright, perfect. That's what I thought. Let's hopefully reprogram. Vancing Got hardware. it. Left a mark. Left a mark. You can tell before if it's effective or not, because I think it goes on one turn cooldown if it fails, and four turn uh, if it doesn't, so you can immediately see if you've succeeded or not. And then, yeah, let's chaining Jolt the mech. Goodbye, friend. Blowing some fuses. Blowing some fuses. Bam! Because that's not OP at all. Um, let's see. Do we really only have the Andromedon left? We've got 50% chance of this. It ignores everything, so we've got a 100% chance to deal 4 to 6. Might be worth We also have impact frame. Unfortunately, we need to really move to do that. Um, might still be worth. These 50s are useless. We might just want to get the subdue on, and it gives us overwatch too. Um, and it gets us closer to this. Let's just do that. Get some 4 to 5 damage on this guy. Finish it with someone else. I guess that's going to be terminal. Yeah, so this just gives us guaranteed damage and gets us closer to our objective. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, terminal. Shoot. Oh, you know what? We'll go for... Yeah, we'll go for a subdue with you as well. Uh, it won't knock the Andromedon down. It kills it, but uh, it's still our most efficient guaranteed damage. So yeah, soon she'll be doing five to six or whatever as well. Kind of busted. Almost dry. Okay. Dang, you can't see. Let's go to there. Psych up. Ready for action. Rawr. And a hundred percent. Nice. And you trigger yourself to start. Uh, you can just kind of, doesn't really matter. Uh, patchwork, you can, oh, you can't get there to subdue. Oh, you can't jump through this window because there's a couch there. Shoot. Damn. That's actually really annoying, because I want to take this guy alive for the extra intel. Not that it really matters, but we can't quite get there to do non-lethal. We could stasis, but that's kind of a waste. I wish I'd known you can't jump through the window. It makes sense when you think about it, but I didn't. This is a problem. Yeah. Um, unfortunate. Can grenade the wall to get through, but that's not worth. Uh, but yeah, we could just run up in stasis. Stasis is what turn? Hold on, two turn? Not too bad. Um, and the reason I'm like, oh, we have to do this is because we also. Oh, wait a sec. I'm. I think we auto collect, so it will take out the turn. I was I, I was doing the thing where I overthought. Uh, I was like, Blue Blood needs this, but for some reason I thought the turn ended there just because that's where the Andromedon was, but 
even if we didn't, terminal gets to go there as well. So yeah, we can we can subdue with uh, blue blood. I'm, I was bad. I was bad. We will just uh, prep here. It doesn't really matter what we do. Um, and yeah, blue blood can just knock this dude out. And we should automatically collect the evidence. Yep. If they move, I'll shoot. All right. That was smooth. We only took a little bit of damage from the grays. This, uh, I, I gotta say, so far, I'm sure, I hope it gets more difficult, but this is on impossible, and I, I know you should never talk, you should never talk about XCOM, you should never say it's easy, but no, it's been, um, we've been cruising. It's, yeah, last unit through this entrance will receive an extra action point. First unit through this entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. Axiom, you're doing the thing again. Uh, patchwork, you're doing the you're doing the follow up thing. You know the thing. Um, blue blood. Wait. Last unit. Oh, who do we want an extra action point on? I guess blue blood actually in this case. So get terminal in, then blue blood, and we might as well heal. It's just healing one point, but you can only use that ability on the breach anyway. So it's all good. Let's go. And bent it would have been. Yeah, we don't have anyone with it. Uh, surprise. So it stuns and they get defense. Follow me. You need to pick me up. Plus one HP. And then we get the scan. I love that scan. <laughs> right in the face of an android and an Andromedon. Yo, welcome back, Highlander. How are you doing tonight? What are we doing here? Are there any? There is a aggressive Andromedon. All right. An oh, an alert guardian. Just finished the game. Nice. How was the difficulty? Right before you got here, I was like, ah, we're kind of cruising, which I know is something you should never say. But yeah, um, we're kind of cruising, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> uh. Expert was too easy? Oh yeah, that's right, you were on Expert. Um, yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's about what I'm thinking, too. Um, how'd you like the game overall, though? Probably shouldn't have jumped right to the difficulty. Soldiers are too OP for the challenge. Yeah, and this time they can't die. Uh, let's see, what do we want? We can... Probably two shot the no. We can't two shot the Andromedon. Um, uh, of which investigation? Damn. We can three shot, but then this guy gets shields. I think we'll take out the. Andromedon, and we have high crit chance here, and high damage, so yeah, I think we go ahead, oh, ooh, nice, ooh, the max damage, that was a 7 damage crit, damage overall, Wait, that is a 84, you beast, 80, 4 to 6, we could high roll here, let's do it, that would be nice if we could two shot this guy after all, I said we couldn't, but, yes! Ah, oh. again, that that's good, but also sort of pissed me off. Uh, let's see. Oh, and we don't have hack yet. You tell me without spoilers. All right. Let's see. Um, I don't think we can take this guy out. He still might be the target, though. Um, we could also just remove an android. Remove these androids. We could get damage on a trooper, but I think I want to take someone out immediately. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth putting damage on this guardian right now. He's also kind of far away. Maybe we should take out the trooper. We have three captured. 
Uh, we could capture the bruiser and the guardian, I guess. Three encounters mission. Do not do early. Do not do early what will be clear to do in the final encounter. Huh. Alright. So basically you're saying don't rush. There's something that'll bug it on the final mission there. Good to know. Mm, yeah, I think we do take out androids. Um, we could, of course, take shots at the trooper, but I think we... Uh, and I, like I said, I hate Guardian, but... Oh, there's... There's actually another bruiser back there, too. Um, you'll know what it is. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good. Trooper. Maybe we do take out the trooper, uh, and that still leaves us a guardian and two bruisers? Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to kill this. Maybe we, you know what, I don't think we do, because he's got too much armor. I kind of want to kill someone. We could go for this bruiser here. Go for the bruiser is not bad. Let's go. Wow, they've, they've just been going crazy. Unfortunately, it looks like we'd have to crit on this to kill. So I don't think it's worth. I mean, of course we could try, but maybe we just get damage on someone else. We get damage on the android here. We could get damage on the... Let's see, and Lancer's shot would be 100. Let's get a little bit of damage on the Guardian. I don't think it's worth trying to kill the Bruiser. We'd have to very high roll. Alright. Oh my god, I hate you. Got... Oh, it shielded the Andromedon shell, too. Target spotted. Bust it up. Clear droid fabrication. Destroy the power core to stop reinforcements. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Alright, it's Axiom's turn. Uh, he's gonna go to town. Uh, damn, droid's moving first. Damn, I don't want to teamwork patchwork because it's just such a short jump. She goes very quickly after. Uh, maybe we just kill this android ourselves. It's not good, but maybe we do. I hope we roll five. Oh, we'd actually have to roll six or more. We could two-shot the android. That's really bad, though. Um, don't think... Yeah, we've got a really bad shot on that. And that's way up there, but thankfully we've got a 100% chance. Oh, it looks like it explodes. Interesting. Whoa, we could two-shot that! Does it explode? It's highlighting like it's exploding, but it doesn't show the damage. But yeah, we could two-shot that, but I don't think it would kill the guy anyway. Um, as bad as it feels, we might just try to take out this android. We might also team up. What would we get if we team up? We'd get... Wow, that's cool. When you select her, when you have him selected, it automatically does teamwork. team up, I think. Whoops, that's not it. Where did Patchwork end up? Over here. Uh, yeah, she does not have reprogrammed. She does have stasis, though. So yeah, we could bring her up. Team, we could team up her, have her stasis and shock. Like I said, I really don't like that. But And then we still have the other android too, though. So maybe we do take out one of the androids and team up? Feels pretty bad, but... Trooper is moving pretty soon, too. We just... We just... There's too many of them, so they got very good turn order turn orders for them. Uh, may we ignore the androids, they're not super threatening, and the guardians. So yeah, maybe we don't overthink this, maybe we just take out the people a little further down that are actually bigger threats. So yeah, we might ignore the little guys and take this 70 here. I don't like that he's in cover, but we could two-shot this guy potentially. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got really good cover. Yeah? What's the yellow dot? Armor. Armor? Why, though? Patchwork isn't in full cover. I'm not sure why I'd be saying she has armor. But yeah, it is the armor symbol, but what does it mean in the t on the character here? Yeah, it's the armor symbol, but it doesn't actually seem to actually mean something. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. If only, if only they explain these things. We definitely want to psych up. Yeah, I just don't feel like we have great options here. The android's closeness to us does worry me as well. And that shield is annoying. That guy's way down the timeline. Um, I think we ignore him. I think we, maybe we do take two shots at the trooper. Uh, we could also flank, which would give us better crit. I wish Blue Blood wasn't right there. We could run all the way up, but then we're flanked by everyone else. We could run to here. Nope. We'd need to go right here for the flank, actually, and that would mitigate the one armor from being in full cover. Um, that was I, I was saying, it's something I really don't like about uh, Chimera Squad is you it doesn't really feel like there are... What's this, anyway? Oh, yeah, he's marked. It doesn't really feel like your agents are ever in danger like you can manage things around so you're not super like I don't really care if he gets shot we're psyched up we, we can actually go crazy and stuff even if we go down we just get stabilized it doesn't feel very high risk I think I'm gonna move this guy into a very flanked position something I never do in XCOM uh, and try to destroy this guy we'll just stand out in the open maybe he'll shoot at us I know it's I'm enjoying the game but it's like super frustrating and I'm seeing people act like this should be the new normal or something like that I'm seeing people I, I've even seen people saying that per, XCOM 3 should not have permadeath I'm like are you insane are you actually insane uh, decent chance to knock out wait he's still got he's still got some armor though so um we'd have to roll high or crit so yeah five and a crit or six I think we still try Yes, good job. Finding the flag. Yeah, so we just left this guy out in the open. They missed anyway. Said will not be the same. Okay, that's very good, but it still worries me that people think it even could be. Um, yeah, and people are saying they like the turn order. Like I, I, I've said before, I like the game. I'm not trying to shit on it or anything, but. This, the turn order, it's its perfectly fine to play with as a standalone thing. I got no problems with the tactical element. Well, actually, that's not true. I do have some. But yeah, playing the game, it's perfectly fine. It's very enjoyable. I, I enjoy it. Um, that said, this is not XCOM here. It really makes it so you don't have quite as many choices because there are obvious choices. Not use timeline? Yeah, good. I'm very glad to hear that, because that is my biggest concern about this game, is just how much of it ends up in XCOM 3. I think we zap this droid for sure. Um, but yeah, so no, I I enjoy it as a standalone, but people saying it should be the... People saying it should be XCOM can fuck right off. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, people are like, oh, it's so great. I saw there was a Reddit post about how great it is that the HP is a resource now, and I sort of get it, but I'm also like, it also makes things absolutely fucking pointless. I don't want HP as a resource, I want you to not want to get injured, I want you to not want to die. Like, yes, HP is great for keeping you alive, but I don't want it to be a resource. Like, it's an interesting little juggle here, but yeah, really. But yeah, it shouldn't be a resource. You you don't want to get hit. Like, ugh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, what do we do with our other action? Move? Nothing? Who's moving next? These bruisers. See, I think we're pretty much good where we are. That should kind of be full cover, but I get why it's not. Uh, I think that's explosive. Oh yeah, and we got to remember that we have to take out the... 
Ooh, there's full cover, but unfortunately it's a dash. We have to remember we, we need to take out the reinforcements as well. I guess we just stay where we are. Is this explosive? We can't target it, but it does look explosively explosive like. Yeah, we can't target it, but maybe we move away from it just to be safe. No, because we want the flank. Oh no, because we're going to jolt, <laughs> which still is a skill that's too good and pisses me off. Let's move over one and jolt. Going to move. That's, that's, that's actually doing a fair amount of damage. Oh, maybe, uh, we should have stayed in stasis. That's what I was thinking of, and then I distracted myself. We should should have stasis the Andromedon. That's a pretty big mistake. All right, I guess that helps. So you said you finished the game. Are you going to play it again? We could even... It's such a waste, but we could cooperate... Uh, cooperate patchwork to stasis. Yeah, that was, that was just a mistake. I, I was thinking about too many things and completely forgot about one of them. Yeah, I want to try other soldiers? Cool. What was your squad? What was your main squad? Who's moving next? We've got a bruiser who unfortunately has a shield. We might... It is our last encounter, so maybe we just grenade to get rid of some of the shields? Claymore looks fun? Yeah, I want to... I want Claymore. I have not seen him yet. When... If it's not too spoilery, when do you get new um, soldiers? Since they haven't shown up in a while, I'm thinking you get one more after each Verge, Terminal, Blue Blood, and Godmother. So pretty similar to mine. I've got I've got a tank instead of Godmother, but yeah. Other than, so yeah, we we went Verge, Terminal, Blue Blood, and a shotgun user at least. Mine's a little tankier, I think. But yeah, do you get the other agents after the investigations are complete like when you uh, yeah i yeah i think it is capped at eight but i'm saying do they just show up randomly or do you have to progress the story ah that feels so bad if we cooperate here yeah i kind of screwed up but i think I, yeah there's no way we can deal with this otherwise let's go ahead cooperate patchwork because we made a mistake we know it we own it okay uh, and then stasis. We could even zap again. Does that get us anywhere? We could zap this guy, which leaves him with four health. And then he does blue blood still have an extra action? No, that gives it uh, to you immediately. Um, yeah, that would put the Andromedon at four health. Blue blood could kill it. Is that what we want to do, though? I think we just stasis. Stasis is safer. I can't believe we screwed up like that. Wait, can we? Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's stasis the Andromedon so we don't have to worry about him. That's so stupid. We also have to worry about this android. Alright, now you have one action left. We could get damage onto someone. Oh yeah, we were talking about grenade. Uh, we have four captured total right now, so we only need to remember to leave one humanoid up. We'll probably get around to reinforcements before we can deal with it too. But yeah, I think we get rid of shields here. Why is it not highlighting on the Guardian? But yeah, I think this is fine. Can we even hit? No, because it doesn't go multi-level unfortunately. Okay, let's hit right there. Maybe we should have even another one cool so yeah we got some shields down all right bad did patchwork patchwork did have a grenade so we could have thrown that when we teamworked or two but oh well it's our first mission we're being a little sloppy here so yeah we could take out the bruiser who moves next i think that's a good idea nice wow we are critting like crazy Ooh, Patchwork took some damage, that's fine. That's what she does, that's like her signature move right there. She's taking a ton of damage. Don't ask me why, but she just keeps taking a ton of damage. Let's see, Andromedon is stasis. We could take shots at the Guardian, and I think we do. Ooh, is, are we in range? No, we are not. And. Oh, Subdue does four to five. We could risk it. Uh, do you dislike the no death thing? But I like the fact that taking damage is not the end of the world. Yeah, I'm kind of mixed on it. I, I like that it's not the end of the world, but as I said, I dislike 
that it feels like there's no penalty at all. I don't really care that she just got whammed. She probably won't get a wound. She won't get a wound unless she gets hit again, basically. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter at all that she just got whammed. She, she could have been crit for like 5 or 6 damage and I wouldn't even care. It's just like, whatever, we'll heal that back up. So yeah, I'm very mixed on the HP thing. I wish it was a little closer so we could shoot and subdue. I really do. Oh, I guess we could dead eye. But I was looking for the subdue. Uh, oh, Axiom moves before Guardian anyway. We could just take that guy out with a shotgun. Maybe we... Oh, shit. Maybe we bring back the armor? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I do say... One thing I do like is that high cover gives you a point of armor. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool, although... I don't know, we'd have to see how that would go, but it could make things too stuck in place, like it would make people entrench big time, so I don't know if that would be a good XCOM change overall, but I, I, I like it, it's interesting at the very least. What do we do here? It's really unfortunate that we can't uh, bop. We could just go for the subdue, because that would give us overwatch. Um, other thing is we could rely on Axiom to shoot. He's out in the open, so yeah, Axiom should be able to take him out. It's too bad about the armor. Android, I think, is also, unfortunately, would blow up Terminal. And maybe XCOM 3 could have some special missions to recruit the soldier from, soldiers from the Chimera Squad. Yeah, that, that, could, that could happen. And like I said, one change I'm totally not opposed to seeing in XCOM 3 is the breach mechanic, but in a limited state. I want to see it as like a mission type, similar to Exalt Infiltrations or something. I want to see tighter, close quarters combat like this. Uh, with the breach mechanic as a specific mission type. See, we only need one more, so we could just try to kill this guy. We could dead eye him. Uh, why can't Axiom just shoot him? Oh, because it's not guaranteed. I guess we could shoot once and then shoot at someone else or move. Maybe that's what we do. Just take a normal shot here to make sure Axiom can shoot him. And yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. Let's go ahead, fire once. Ooh, we crit. To be fair, breach looks like ambush from XCOM 2, where you can choose who. Uh, who? Yeah, I'm just saying it, it's fun. Like it doesn't have to be super different just to be like, well, that's still worth something. Uh, this and this android is going. Uh, before patchwork and terminal, we have to take him out, right? We have to take him out, or I think, yeah, I think I blow this up. Oh, we could team up. We could team up patchwork. Or, uh, patchwork does not have it yet. I guess we'd have to team up terminal and leave. Ah, we've managed this somewhat sloppily. Let's go ahead, team up terminal. That feels really bad. And then what? We don't kill that. Uh, oh, we could now sub... Oh, no. That, that was the problem, is that he's out of range. Um, we could shoot not that guy. Um, four. He won't kill, so we could do that to make sure Terminal can kill. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, we can take a shot at that. 70 is not great. 60 is even worse, but would do a ton of damage if we hit. Maybe we just dead eye the objective, but then if we don't kill the uh, android, yeah, I think we just take shots at the android, but not dead eye because we don't want to kill. So yeah, dead eye four to six, yeah, could kill. So let's just do the normal fire here. Nice. And then, we've got a 70, so as long as we're not, we could go here, nope, that's still in cover, we could go here, the Andromedon's still stasis -ed. Uh, 
we're, we're taking out the guardian, we're taking out the android. See, I think this is fine. Whoops. Yeah, we'll just go right here. And 91. Watch us miss or roll low. Even with the hit from Blue Blood, it's not guaranteed, which is kind of annoying. Okay, good. Good. Threat evaporated. Alright, Axiom. Ugh. It's too bad to waste all that damage. Um, go ahead, shoot this guy. Oh, ho, ho. oh! We really have been just like critting like mad, and we could get damage on this guy. Not bad. Yeah, let's try. Oh, and that gives us cool. We have everyone we need now. Uh, let's go ahead, shoot this guy. Actually. Psych up. Unfortunately, we can't get there for a smash, but we can shoot the bruiser. We do need to hit this as well. There are reinforcements, but I think we've got it handled, honestly. Um, patchwork will un... Uh, I think... Oh, that's right. We already killed this. This is a shell, which is less intimidating. So maybe we even let this act. I think we're going to... Take out the bruiser, which we can do pretty easily, and then put shots on the objective. Come on, hit please. Okay. Yeah, they have been on fire this time. So yeah, he's out. I'd forgotten we'd already killed the Andromedon early on. Much less of a threat. Patchwork. Oh, and unless there's other stuff here, this is the end of the mission, so we could even grenade. We don't need anyone else, so we could kill this guy with a grenade just to get him out of there. And then still have chaining jolt on... Shit, we can't see this, though. Maybe we grenade and shoot, just so we have more actions on that. Yeah, let's go ahead, just kill this dude. Yep, we have everyone captured. Plasma out. <laughs> Eat a grenade. Oof. Nice. And do we just fire at this? Other thing we could do is take out the shell. Why four to six? Maybe we just do this since it's uh, such high damage. Blue blood can shoot. Blue eye can blue blood can dead eye the objective twice. Uh, oh yeah. So let's. I hate this skill so much because it's so good. All right, there we go. Guaranteed six or seven damage. Zero percent chance to miss. Uh, let's dead eye this twice. Gotcha. Wait, you rolled super low there, buddy. I don't like that. Shoot. Will this guy get to move now? Wait, we can... Uh, I wish we could subdue the objective. That's kind of unfortunate. Let's see. You're doing four to six. That's more than terminal. Ah. I guess I'd rather take some damage potentially from the Andromedon than get more reinforcements. So yeah, let's just get damp. Wow, the low roll. If we don't kill this, I swear. Uh, what are our chances? That was really unlucky. If we roll three here, I am gonna be pissed. Uh, does pin down do anything here? I think it would, but then the reinforcements happen, and this does it. Wait, this, this doesn't say in turn. Can we pin down and fire? I don't think so. This should end turn, right? Maybe not. We could pin down and fire. Let's give it a try. I'm going to be... P will end? That's what I thought, but it doesn't say. Which, again, pisses me off. Um, and we still have both actions. Is there anyone we want to heal? Yeah, I guess we heal Patchwork. 
the high tech spray do its We work? don't have cooperate or anything. This is so many gremlins. A part of me wants to roll three just because it would be hilarious to go four four three. Other part of me wants to just take this guy out and deal with the reinforcements. But like I said, I'm not. Uh, yeah, the only downside is we will get hit, but it's probably not a big deal. But if we don't even manage to kill this, it's all for nothing. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> not even mad, actually. I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad. Alright, this guy has shit accuracy, um, at least. Oh, that pisses me off! Uh, oh, and this might be, I think this is the reinforcement crash. Oh well. Hey, we'll probably have to take that turn again. It, game saves coming for me. Maybe we'll get better shots this time. I, I think it... No, because it saves per agent. So I think we would get... Uh, terminals turn again. So we'd only get one more shot. We get to retake that shot we just took. I think uh, Blue Blood will have already moved. I hate this shit. I've had it like three or four times now. We'll just go ahead and close here. And it takes a really long time for the game to recognize that it's not open and let us um, let us play it again. So yeah, it takes a while to be like, yeah, okay, your game crashed. It takes a while to acknowledge that. Oh, that's annoying. Like I said, though, it's saved scum for it. It's saved scumming for us. So there is that. Maybe this time we'll actually kill that thing. Uh, all right, are we there yet? Almost. Almost. All right, cool. We can start the game again. Yay. Alrighty then. Too much crashes. We're back. Hmm? Okay, that was weird. Alright, let's go ahead and load up auto save round four. And let's see. Because, yeah, we have taken the exact same option, so I'm pretty sure... Oh, are we going to get hit this time? Holy shit! Alright. Wait! It saved after she already shot. The Andromedon fucking save scummed us. The Andromedon fucking save scummed us. That's messed up. That's really fucking messed up. That's really fucking messed up, man. Jesus. How is that okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Somewhere the elder is laughing. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. That's fucked up. We're gonna stick it with it. We could save scum ourselves, but we're gonna stick with it because uh, the game's too easy. Uh, so yeah, it, it saves scum for us, uh, for itself. Um, who's gonna kill that? Probably Blue Bud. He does least damage often. Oh my god, this is actually gonna make things a little tricky. Do we try Adrenal Surge? We can. I don't really care about the damage. I wish we could waypoint. There, you can, there, there is the waypoint UI was never disabled, but you can't use it as far as far as I can tell. So yeah, you can you can put, press control to place waypoints, but they don't do anything. So yeah, I think we poison ourselves here. I think what we're gonna do is adrenal sur adrenal surge to smash and smash. Hopefully, take someone out. Like we could. No, 87s are actually. Oh, uh, oh, we're out of ammo anyway. That's right. So yeah, I think we start smashing. 
Let's try it. It'll be interesting to see anyway. Over the edge. Let's go ahead. Surge. Smash. This guy first. Oh, wow. Okay, so we can run right through without taking acid on that that one. But yeah, I'm smashing this guy first. Um, because he's in normal range, so it should cost one action point. Okay, stun two. And he berserked. Hit someone other than the stun guy? Okay, not exactly what I wanted. I think he poisoned himself too. Okay. No. Alright, that wasn't too bad. We can stasis and chaining jolt someone. Who can you shoot? You can shoot the trooper. Oh no. You can chaining jolt. Uh, oh, that hits everyone here. If not if we stasis, though. Unfortunately, that doesn't kill. Is this the rare? Nope, because that's only a 69% chance. I was like, maybe this is the rare case where we actually shoot instead of uh, jolt, but no. So this guy's stunned, so I don't care. We could jolt bruiser or trooper. Trooper goes next. We could. Okay, so maybe we stasis trooper, jolt bruiser. Stasising trooper feels bad, but I think it's the management uh, decision because we can't kill him and he moves next so yeah let's go ahead stasis trooper Time out. can't believe we got save scummed all right stasis and then we're gonna jolt not the bruiser this guy there's only two yeah all right we jolt the bruiser make him easier to kill hostile. when it comes to it don't knock precision Alright, and yeah, one extra little damage there. Weapons running low. Okay, blue blood. Uh bruiser is going next. I think we take Probably the Andromeda Punch was a 97% miss. Would not surprise me. Would not surprise me. Um We can subdue the bru oh no, because we need to subdue this one, and that's on a dash unfortunate oh and this I believe also ends yeah will end turn oh we can fire and then shoot that's that's the play that's the play uh, oh shit it's one ammo does this take ammo I don't think so I think this uses our other gun oh shit we'd have to hit terminal yeah we damn that kind of defeats the purpose we'd have to hit our own guy to take that guy out. That's really unfortunate. Oh! Oh ho ho! We can end on a subdue of this guy right there. We would poison ourselves, but it doesn't matter. And then we'll have Overwatch for the Bruiser. So if he moves, at least we shoot him. I think that'll have to. Oh! Can we Overwatch without ammo, though? I don't know. It... Oh, you know what? Terminal could take this guy out. Um. We could move here and then knock it. Oh yeah, so we don't... I'm doing it again. I'm like overthinking it. Um, we don't need to take this out this turn. For some reason I was like, we need to take it out this turn. No, Terminal can shoot that. <laughs> She's going to miss 100% shot. So yeah, we could move here, charge this guy, knock him out. Are you going to shoot the objective? Yeah, with Terminal. With Terminal. I was trying to fit it in, but we don't have the... Uh, we didn't have the ammo or action points combination. So yeah, I think we go here, then knock out the bruiser who's moving after, uh, after terminal, who's moving first. This guy gets unstunned and ends up at the bottom. Yeah, this guy's stunned, this guy's stasis. So yeah, I think that's the play. We've got a 69 on that guy, but that's not good enough. I'd love to be able to reload, shoot and reload, but I think we do this. Take him out. You're under nice. arrest. You're under arrest. That guy's stunned. Terminal. Yeah, you're gonna be shooting at the objective here. Uh, no one really needs. Oh yeah, you need. Let's safeguard yourself then. I still love that we got saved scum. That was great. Thank you, XCOM. That's that goes back to what I was saying about the difficulty though. The only time the game has been difficult is when it does really weird shit 
like save scum me there and hit the I know it probably wasn't a 97% chance to miss but it was probably close they were very inaccurate but yeah so when the game save scums an 80 on you or something like that or when all your guys stack up on explosives on a breach and get set on fire before you even get control of them like that's been I think the most challenging mission was when my guys stacked up on an explosive before I even had control of them whatever all right, we got the objective. Need to Good reload. job. And Axiom, you need to reload. We can reload and take this guy out. I think that's the play. Weapon reloaded. And this guy's stasis. Oh shit! This guy's stasis ends next turn. Actually, um, let's go ahead subdue. I wonder. We could have looked to prep, the but I don't think it would have been enough. All right, this guy's off. We can jolt shit. Yeah, oh, we can come around potentially crit. The snake needs to move. Uh, yeah, maybe crit. I think so. She's got enough health where it doesn't back. matter otherwise. Oh shit, I just realized it's not going to be a crit because we couldn't get here and we, so we don't get the lean out. Son of a bitch. 0% crit. 4 to 6. Um, that's too bad. That was really annoying that that snake was there. That's really annoying. Uh, we don't have team up or anything. Ah! It's really annoying. We could do that, or we could take our... Honestly, I'm so tired of that skill. Maybe we just take our shot here. 79. Hope to roll 6. Hope to hit and roll 6. Let's do it. Ha! Fuck you too. I'm nearly dry. Fuck you too. Bop. Hostile is down and out. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. Lightly wounded. Lightly wounded. Lightly wounded. Bunch of captures. No civilians killed this time. Still can't get. Hit. Believe we got hit by the 20% to increase in unrest as well. That was uh, yesterday, but that was nasty as well. That core was weapons grade. It could have powered anti-starship weapons if it wasn't a pile of dust. Alright. Ah, we got save scummed. I love it. Alright, so we got another impact frame. Frame. We got intel, we got other intel, we got Illyrium, we lowered unrest. Visit downtown to take in City Hall, rebuilt to echo its pre-invasion specifications. Enjoy our co combination. I think I've read this one before. Uh, yeah, we have. Burge has completed training mental preparation. That's excellent. It'll be nice to have him back. Sacred Coil has no cure for the Fade. They're using a public health crisis to increase their recruitment. Put an end to their lies. Show City 31 what they really are. Killers, fear mongers, and opportunists. Wow, that sounds uh, like current events. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. Sacred Coil has no cure for the fade. They're using a public health crisis to increase their recruitment. They're killers, fear mongers, and opportunists. Based. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's do it. Training. Ooh, promotion! What's wrong with you? Whoa. I'm reflecting. This place reminds me of our invasion ships. Ah, uh, this'll be good. How? We're a tight crew in a massive structure. Around every corner, there's a vital function. We're rotting in the middle of nowhere. Don't fault our strategic location. I fault the rust that flakes into my food. All right. Cool. We got him back. Let's see what we got going on here. It's probably time to do this. Yeah, because we don't want that to hit max again. Um, it's a shame we pass up on the credits, but it is what it is. Damn, enhanced armor in two days. But yeah, I don't want to put this off that long. Saturday. Oh, so yeah, we already got our we already got our payday then. 
good. So we didn't miss out on that, or it would have told us. All right, agents idle. That's fine. But yeah, it'll be nice to have Verge back. I think we will bring him on our. Maybe not. It's probably gonna have. Oh, it doesn't say there's a bunch of androids, but there probably still will be. Anyway, let's check our promotions here. Patchwork. How are you gonna blow my mind this time? Let's see what we got. Senior Agent, Shock Therapy, Upgrades Chaining Jolt to Disorient and Potentially Stun Targets. Just what we need, better Jolt. Uh, chained Electric Attacks from Chaining Jolt or Voltaic Belt deal 1 to 3 extra damage. So that's on the chain itself. That's pretty good, but um, chains are somewhat rare like it's not the it's not the main thing i think i'd rather disorient or stun targets and i think this is i wonder if this counts like with this stun like could we have a voltaic or alt or alt that arc that stuns that would be pretty interesting uh but yeah this is interesting but this is good i think i think that's what we're going with uh and axiom all right, special agent. Now we have fear factor upgrade smash. That's no. Oh, smash is yeah. Smash is our skill, uh, or our ability. Upgrade smash to give it a chance to panic nearby enemies. Chance increases with rage. Pretty damn decent. Uh, Axiom regenerates a small amount of HP at the start of their turn. Very good, but unnecessary because we don't really care. We have ways to heal him and stuff like that. So yeah, this is good. <laughs> similar to the, similar to the other one. This is good, but this is as useful. Uh, so yeah, I think we go fear factor. Let's. We don't use smash that much either. Like maybe we should just make him a tank. But yeah, I think this is unnecessary. Um, I think we go fear factor. So chance to panic nearby enemies, and the more rage he has, the more chance. But yeah, that's great that it's just nearby enemies, so when he smashes someone, everyone else might panic and lose their turn or something. That seems pretty good. Let's do that. Alright, everyone's upgraded. Um, supply, everything set here. Armory we already did. Training. I'm just thinking, who do we send here? And then we'll put the other one in training. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this immediately. Sacred Coil has a pirate radio station used to spread their propaganda. We've located one source of their broadcast near the river's edge. Do what you can to shut it down. 35 credits. Go me. And I think the next day we'll get a scavenger market or something. And we have intel for it now. And we're just going to keep pumping into intel. Although we also... May, no, no, no. I think we should do credits. Although we'll get some here. Hopefully that'll be enough, but then we'll be really low on credits. But it's so nice to have a supply of intel. So I think we might intel um, because we're going to be low. We need to buy field teams as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, intel is just so good. All right, but yeah, let's set up our team here and then put whoever we decide not to send into training. Yeah, I guess we can just decide from here. Um, who would we be taking out? Blue Blood's doing so much work, but Verge does as well, and he's got the upgraded gun. So maybe we bring Verge? Patchwork is a must, basically. Blue Blood's so good, like he's been really impressive, but Verge is also pretty good. Maybe we don't bring Verge. It's kind of funny since we're making such a big deal about that he's back and stuff. Check who have new training options. Oh, right, right, right. They might. Verge still has the unlock potential. Uh, terminal, basic, and unlock potential still. Patchwork, unlock potential. So I'm thinking no. Oh, no, that's that one. So yeah, no one got new stuff. I'm thinking it's at the next one. I want this as well, though, but I think he's. Yeah, maybe we put him into training and bring Verge then. Um because I do want that, but let's see. Verge could also train for dodge, not as good. Terminal, we do want her increased at some point, but I want heal. How? This is, let's see, yes, Hostile I just want to see, that's what I thought. To function. If authorized by the director, you may need to neutralize a hostile leader. 
Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. Oh, give me that intel. Um, so yeah, the reason I wanted, I want to check the projected encounter. Since it was story, I thought it would be three. Um, but yeah, so maybe next time we have a encounter that's just one, uh, we won't need the healer as much. So we'll put Verge, er, Verge, uh, Terminal in to train, but right now we want her on the mission. Same goes for Patchwork. Um, Axiom's pretty damn good. Yeah, maybe we just, we could train Ver Verge, we could also train Blue Blood. I just, I kind of want to use uh, Verge again, so let's go ahead and put Blue Blood into training here, even though he's really good and it will be a shame missing him. Uh, let's do something like that. I think that looks good. And then we'll put Verge back in. Welcome back, Verge. I mentioned Verge is my favorite. He's just great. All right, let's go. Let's go. I almost launched there. That's not what I want. Let's make items available. And do we put Trank back on Verge? It's so nice being able to shoot twice with Trank, though. So I think we leave it, even though Verge having killer aim and Trank is really nice. Um, I think we leave it for now. So yeah, we'll give him crit and reflex grip and Trank. Uh, there is a keypad door, oh, which is not a security door, so that doesn't matter. Do we have any other breach items? Doesn't really matter. Breaching charge. Um, oh yeah, we have the new thing as well. We could give her the ammo instead. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give you the impact frame and you the superior expanded magazine. Oh, and without blue blood, we don't have the other impact frame anyway. Shoot, that's kind of bad. He's so good with the impact frame. We'll give you the impact frame and targeting system then. We have the two mock weaves. Mock weaves are stupid. All right, so yeah, crit and firing twice with tank rounds. Targeting, impact uh, damage, impact damage. Not real great on Verge, but I mean we've got nothing better to do anyway. Um, I think maybe we just don't do it at all. Nope, we, we're good. We're good. Targeting, ammo, and you know what? She never fires anyway. What am I thinking? Um, yeah, that was from earlier stuff. Maybe we give her. Yeah, she's never gonna impact frame either. Um, yeah, maybe targeting good though. Um, maybe we give him ammo instead of targeting. Yeah, let's swap that around. Uh, which means we have to get rid of. Let's get uh, the chance to. Yeah, hair trigger is better on him. Uh, so let's get rid of hair trigger and magazine. Probably not. Let's. He doesn't need the targeting. A bunch of people will be targeted anyway. So let's give him hair trigger. I guess we don't need the impact frame, but then we're no. Okay, let's go hair trigger and expanded magazine. I guess so he doesn't have to reload as much. And then give her the targeting system and impact frame, which might come into effect, but probably not. And we don't have body armor. She can use the holo scanner. Uh, we have an extra med kit and an extra breaching charge. I guess that's good. Yep, that should be all our all our items that we need. All right, those of you on YouTube, we'll call the video here and be right back with the mission itself. Oh. We need to put, oh no, we did put him in training, right? Right? Yeah, good. All right. Now for real, those of you on YouTube, we'll call the video here and be right back with the mission itself. Thanks for watching. Peace.